everyone welcome back to my channel hi to all my friends family good faith with k family hey lovely fellow believers and women of faith and guys too welcome welcome <laughs> um i'm so happy to see you guys here for another video it's been super long i feel like since I've done a sit down or a discussion video, I'm excited to get back into these because I have a long list of them and more or less it's been hard to record them and re-record them and figure out and find a quiet moment to record and like there's so many things going on but I'm excited to gather here with you guys today for this topic and several others. So welcome to my channel. I am Kayla. Kayla is my need to be exact. <laughs> um, not exact for my full, like, first and middle, anyway. But welcome to my channel, welcome to my space, okay? And today we're gonna be talking about modesty as well as minimalism, as I was called to both. I don't wanna say called because we all are called to modesty, we're called to set apartness. Um, as we serve up set apart father, which I am so grateful Aline is good. And he set apart as his little ones, as his children should be as well. But um, as I would say that I was led full, full force, full blown to abide and just be obedient to um, our call, my call as a believer to really intentionally walk in minimalism as well as modesty. So that's what we're gonna be talking about here today. Um, I'm praying all goes well, all my thoughts are collected and that you guys who are viewing this receives it well. And if you guys are going through this season too, I would love to hear about, um, or if you guys are kind of praying about it. And um, if you guys went through this, I guess, life shift as well, let me know. Um, and I'm just so happy to be able to record it right now in this season and just be so joyful and have a brand new perspective on it. I I always realize later the fact all that Yahuwah does in my life because Yeshua is so good where he like is a multitasker. He's working on so many things on us at once and like we may not realize it. Some people may, you know, as, as he's working, they realize it. But I feel like for me, it takes after a few months or a few weeks going by, I look back and I'm like, oh, that's why you were calling me or leading me towards this, or I was doing this type of thing, or this is why I had it in my heart to just radically change this area. Um, I always kind of realize after, and I'm so much more grateful um, to like have that reflective moment, and I'm like, wow. Um, so that's what kind of gathers us today for this topic and as I'm sharing and there'll be more video topics like this because it is not the only video, but it's more of a progressive journey. First and foremost, I just want to just, um, shine light on the fact that this can be, I don't want to say an unpopular topic, but when some people hear modesty or conservativeness or someone trying to walk further in holiness, which just means set apartness or set apart. Um, or holy means, or refers to the set apart ones, to set apart children of the most high. So when they hear certain terms like this, without the full spiritual understanding, it can be seen in a negative light or connotation, connotation. Y'all know the word I'm trying to say. But it's just seen in like a different perspective than it's intended. Um, so I would say to you that it's a blessing that you're seeking modesty or to be more conservative um, and just dress as a woman ref reflecting or a woman who's an ambassador of the Most High. We don't want to um, appear or, or represent him in any kind of way. And especially to being that we strive for set apartness, it is just um, wonderful to be set apart. Basically unique in a bunch, we're, we're different. So if most of our generation or most of women in this time period, this century, 
this decade or what's deemed as like cool or hip to have um, women dress in a certain way um, by us being set apart we need to operate differently you know not choosing to come out here with your cheeks out or cleavage showing midriff you know thinking how to operate differently um, or dress differently so these are all things that I thought about for some time and really my eyes were open to um, really that started last year summer it was my little transitional stage in my mind and wheels were turning then the fall season is filled over where I was thinking more intentionally about minimalism I know that I have a lot of items and I'm like I have a lot of items and that can range from books maybe highlighters my art supplies and those were things that I started to declutter and prune over time um, and condense like my dressers per se whatever but then I was most especially looking at my wardrobe and my closet and I'm like you have a lot of stuff let's try to figure this out because most of the things I wasn't wearing and I'm like I have a lot of things but it's like why um and yeah most of the things I wasn't really happy or satisfied with and I was kind of was in the midst of changing my wardrobe anyway so that was something that I was kind of progressively working on it came to a point where I'm like let me condense this stuff it will feel so good because I was a watching different minimalist channel channels and b reading a book it's like why how can we help ourselves to be more peaceful or really walk in the peace of the most high um what is distracting us what is cluttering our minds our space our thoughts and for me i really prayed about it i was like it was like the clothes i was having the stuff i was um just accumulating and for me, I do enjoy shopping. I like to shop. So I would shop for more things. Of course, I would shop wisely and on a budget and watch what I'm spending, which led me to thrift shopping. But anyhow, I find I found it that the things I'm shopping for are things that I like and that I'm starting to like and rear towards. So everything, everything that's in my closet, it's like, why am I keeping those or holding on to it? It just, it, it wasn't making sense. Um, it was more so of like, just start to let go of this stuff. So if you guys were following me on my Instagram, I could face with K, just if y'all don't know, but you guys would see and would have saw that I started to like give things away towards October, November. So over the two months I was starting to give things away. What I first started to do was just keep a basket in my room and each time I'm doing laundry, folding clothes back or trying to organize my closet and I realized that I'm not wearing something I'll dump it in there and over time I would just in bulk start to accumulate clear garbage bags and just started to populate those with clothes that I do not wear don't have the desire to wear and that started to help me too with my space in my closet like or my dresser drawers and that was my drive or overdrive to minimalism. I'm like, let me minimalize my life. And I ultimately started to give up three big bags of clothes and that felt amazing. So that is just the beautiful thing about our Elohim because he continues to work on us, to prune us, to change us, just come into our lives and fully, constantly refine us, to sanctify us and our mindsets and our perspective on like, the most grander things and the most smallest things and the things that we wouldn't even expect or realize that he would work on or change so i preface that because after me having the inkling to minimalize my life i at the same time was like thinking you know what i should veer towards a more modest wardrobe a more modest conduct in my ways um and it's funny because I wasn't really thinking about modesty in that way until I guess then the end of last year and beginning of this. Um, and it was also too after I read a novel, which I'll get to later in this video, but um, 
basically I'm realizing I'm like why am I wanting to minimalize I implore you to continue just like to pray to strengthen your faith walk your belief in the most high like just desire for Elohim to completely enter your life and make changes allow his will to amplify and yours to diminish okay it is well worth to truly draw near to him and just be remodeled remolded be sanctified in him to really glorify him in our lives and that was exactly my prayer for several years um like and i had no idea what to even expect of how he'll come in and make those changes and allow me to like live a life that's honorable towards him but it's well worth looking back down the line five years later it's like um as i was changing my perspective on modesty and really saw the blessing and the beauty and just which then just strengthened my desire towards uh, modesty was just looking back and reflecting um like i basically didn't realize how i conduct myself as a believer i did not realize how that correlates with my faith or my spiritual walk so it was like after me intentionally um wanting to strengthen my relationship with the most high in 2018 i was doing a lot of spiritual work to um strengthen my faith and like i don't know just was working on my spiritual changes and maturity and discernment and um praying that who are creating me a clean heart and just takes away every wicked way and sinful way of me and i was like father change me from the person i am today and i was working on my spiritual changes and um growing wisdom and knowledge and just a closeness and was focusing on that spiritual end for i guess four years i guess five years now if you will um but it wasn't until the end of last year or ending tier and more so this year that i saw that direct correlation to work on my outside spiritual appearance if that makes sense or like how i represent the most high as a believer and how i conduct myself like my ways were showing forth actions whatever but it's like even down to the way i dress how I present, how I, um, I don't know. Basically, I realized it's not only your heart posture, but it's also how you um, conduct yourself. And, and basically up here. So um, I had no attachment to the clothes that I had in my closet at this point when i was decluttering it was the most simple and prayerful task i'm like father just help me to not have an attachment i barely even had to pray that i was like i was like father help me to just like just finally let go of these items so it was small things like i didn't realize like if i'm showing midriff in the summer and i'm by the pool or running errands like i didn't really see how that can be an issue if you will um because because i'm like it's summer you know i'm wearing a bathing suit everyone knows it's summer but it was down to like the idea of just that or um certain tank tops would like cut low or in the winter like some of my sweaters but some of my winter long sleeve like v-necks would be a little low or um i'm forgetting like some other particular examples in my closet but it was an easy giveaway like i don't even remember what i had prior i think it was like certain tees with graphics or things with certain things like um a bit but i was just dumping and letting go and also too it was the quality back to the minimalism i was like i have too many items 
and it's just me life is so short these weeks go by quick if i'm going somewhere i want to be able to just like pick up this shirt pick up this pants throw on some shoes and go yes i love fashion yes i love to like mix and match and do different colorways and certain shoes i can very well do that still yes but father helped me to realize it doesn't have to be a entire storefront of clothes in your closet you have way too many stuff and half of these things you aren't wearing so i'm like if i'm not wearing it someone else can be making use of those stuff um and also while i'm giving this giveaway let me walk towards modesty and my appearance and making sure like i want to walk more i want to wear more conservative wear but conservative does not have to compensate cute and i was like just saw the all-inclusive beauty of it like my prayer was that i want to allow my wardrobe my conduct my outfits to really glorify you and reflect you when someone looks at me i want them to say not say but think okay like she looks different and then the more i speak to them possibly they may realize that i am a believer and like it, they may see the beauty of my set of partners or your set of partners and it may inspire them it may change their heart that like and it's safe as if it's not another woman all the more to it like they may realize that i don't have to like show so much skin or whatever to be not approved but be noticed or be liked or whatever the reason being is like for me i wasn't exactly i guess too revealing in my clothes especially towards my um like adult years and like college but i always recall that like i i always dressed more mature everyone would always tell me even in middle school in um high school like my friends would tell me oh you like you you just like a mom or someone's mom or you're just kind of older even down today i get that <laughs> you know which is i guess a compliment but i always liked a more, more mature look like even in middle school i'll dress a little business or business casual if you will you know, as a kid could, it's like a cardigan, I don't know, long sleeve shirt or a turtleneck with jeans and boots. Like I was dressing like that. <laughs> but um, it was very rare or at certain times I would allow myself to dress in a little bit of revealing clothing. If I'm going to a party or a family gathering or, or if there's like a theme something. Um, or again, like the example I gave in summer, if I'm like running errands or by the pool, like I wouldn't mind wearing my bathing suit or you know showing a lot of skin but i never really regarded that until now i'm like i don't have to walk around showing skin like that and if it's summer i can find ways around it you know and when i hit that season i of course would do a renewed modesty video like navigating modesty in summer when it's hot and like you know whatever enjoy this season enjoy the blessing of wanting to be modest in my wear and like really navigate like finding cute ways to still keep conservative and also minus the fact that like modesty is really what the most high desires of us but it's also down to not only our set of partners and how we appear but how we appear really matters and um it will attract who we or the way we appear will bring the kind of people in our lives that we want to attract. Like, for me, example, just by example, hypothetical, me being single um, and a believer and really want to be intentional, save myself for marriage, like all those good things. And by me wanting to be more modest and really walk in my womanhood and my called called to the partners as a believer like that would attract prayer for me a set apart man after the most high's heart so that's the blessing of it that you who will like will go ahead and refine me more and more and more and more towards his set of partners and more so sanctify me and also not only towards that kind of relationship but also in my friendships and those relationships or like co-workers or people who see me at the grocery store or down the block um it makes 
a huge difference and people notice and it's beautiful to want to glorify the most high in our conduct and that's why I wanted to preface in the beginning of this video that like set apartness seeking after modesty or being conservative or wanting to walk in our call to holiness which just means set apartness I know that term can be um miss defined in this day and age but um it's a beautiful thing we should want to be set apart for the one who saves us like yeshua takes us out of our sinful and lost ways and more and more as we seek after him and draw near to him and grow our closeness and our maturity um and nurture our relationship like he will further change us towards his will and his ways and we would emulate him more than us or emulate him more than the ways of this world which is ultimately the goal and which is such a beautiful concept so i'm going to go ahead and read some scriptures that i was resting on and was fully affirmed in as i was going ahead to pray about modesty and what that looks like for me and um just want to encourage you guys in those so one of them was first peter's um verse 13 through 16 so it says therefore gird up your loins gird up the loins of your mind be sober minded rest your hope fully upon the grace that is to be brought to you at the revelation of jesus christ or you Yeshua HaMashiach. As obedient children, not conforming yourselves to the former lust as in your ignorance, but as he who called you is holy, you also be holy in all your conduct because it is written, be holy for I am holy. And that was so beautiful to read and rest on because um, that was the exact verses that I needed to rest on and like cling to when thinking about modesty. It's not only within my wardrobe or your wardrobe, it's within everything, how we conduct ourselves. Stay sober minded. Um, that is spiritually and if you're of age and whatever, um, down to also drinking, drinking alcohol. If you choose and you pray about you you pray about the consumption of alcohol um it's like just bottom line stay sober minded don't get drunk don't get sloppy and yeah not misrepresent the most high when you do indulge but just think and just pray about like as our father is holy or our father is set apart as they are interchangeable we should be set apart in all of our conduct and all of our ways and our mindsets and our thinking and that's what also got me to thinking oh also in my clothes and, and how i dress myself in first timothy chapter 1 verses 8 and 9 i love how it specifically calls us women to modesty here as well okay <laughs> i desire therefore that men pray everywhere lifting up holy hands without wrath and doubting in like manner also that the women adorn themselves in modest apparel with propriety and in moderation not with braided hair or gold or pearls or costly clothing as we believers we are called to modesty and called to this just abide and love and adorn ourselves in modest apparel and and i also take that as well as like our natural beauty um don't have to add on the fancy most fanciful jewelry expensive clothing or expensive items in our case um i mean i personally was never one who was big on like several name brand items i wasn't my plight to have to be convicted of um when i started to make my own income and such i was blessed for like even wanting and desiring to like thrift because you can thrift those same items but for lesser cost and a better budget and like 
not spending now in some cases there are some reasons to spend uh, more for a quality item and whether it's like a winter coat or I don't know higher quality boots so pray about this and see what that looks like for you I mean the word just says don't spend costly see what costly means for you um, but I guess it's just down to just walking in wisdom when you're buying clothing so I just pray and encourage all you guys to want to be cleansed and have pray that the most high cleans your heart and cleans out your mindset your perspective um, possibly in your hesitance or your resistance towards walking modestly or conducting and conducting yourselves in a modest way he will provide and he will change your heart posture and your perspective i love it how in second corinthians verse 7 and 1 saying therefore having these promises beloved let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit professing holiness in the fear of god walk towards the fear of god like to fear him is to fear him and want to dwell in him and walk towards his ways i emphasize this more so in my wardrobe in my quantity be more humble more subtle you know so, so many ways i already were but for me i was like how can i do better in this father really show me specifically what it is i should change towards you and it was my wardrobe and, and then next it was like i'll keep up my nails like i would start to do gel nails for a while consistently and i'm like mm, a my nails are becoming weakened but i'm like plain plain nails are good too not upkeeping nails and gel nails set continuously that became costly and then also my hair keep it minimal keep it just clean styled and there you have it you don't have to like do the most i mean last year i did three silk presses okay well two silk presses too many i did one for graduation and the two after that uncalled for um i even did a sewing which i'm like why did i even do that sewing like no when you do a hairstyle and you're like why did i even do that there was no reason to i was quickly convicted about that um but yeah just keeping it simple fearing the most high in all our ways don't add distractions and just all these things like he wants us to be simple and simplified and walking in peace with him and free of distractions especially us who are unmarried or single or virgins as his word says going back to first corinthians chapter 7 which is my favorite 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 first that I immediately had the blessing to rest on in the beginning of my walk. Here was one of the first passages that I was like dwelling on for a while and meditating on and that really stuck near to me, especially in the beginning of my walk and down to this day. Um, so we'll just read it together. So it's 1 Corinthians chapter what seven verses 34. So it talks about the married and the unmarried and how we should conduct ourselves. So it says, there is a difference between a wife and a virgin. The unmarried woman cares about the things of the Lord, that she may be holy both in body and in spirit. And that was the first thing, like I told you guys, that I recognized to really walk in my set of partners and my faithful call towards the Most High and belief in him not only in my spiritual sense but i'm like in my body i should not only physically and you know re resisting temptations and former lust but also in my body what i put on my body how i expose or conduct like i don't have to and be more intentional more firm on how i dress and, but then it says, but she who is married cares about the things of the world, how she may please her husband. And this I say for your own profit, not that I may put a leash on you, but for what is proper and that you may serve the Lord without any distractions. And I love that. I, I love how it's emphasized 
Because the more that we just love the Most High and want to grow close to Him, you know, you'll then have the spiritual understanding and the maturity to see that, like, His Word then in His entirety, old and new, um, His Word itself, His instruction that He leads with us, um, His convictions that He gives us, His revelation that He pours in, what He calls us to do to change in our old ways is not to put a leash on us to confine us if anything we're more free <laughs> in him it's freeing to um want to walk in our set of partners want to truly please him in how we conduct ourselves um and not be confined about like keeping up with the joneses if you will it can be tiring to keep up with the times I set apart ones and ones who are who want to walk in spiritual wisdom, especially in these times. Of course, we want to keep up with the times in terms of prophecy and what we should expect and keeping up with discernment of the Most High, of um, things that go on in this day after day after day. But in terms of um, the trends and... Um, what seemed to be cool or hip or whatever, especially in our appearance. Um, if it compromises with our faith and what the word says and the conduct of what a biblical woman should adhere to or look like, then we don't want to keep up with that. And um, that's my point being like the unmarried or us versions or those who, um, are also walking in singleness we would want we should want to please the most high we should want to conduct ourselves um fully and have all of our ways truly reflect what he wants us to be like and um yeah not that he's putting a leash on us but to just be freed in him and walk in his ways and do what's pleasing of the most high and um in our ways won't look like the ways of the world so that's what's beautiful and what's a blessing about that and it become it it, it becomes tiresome to want to constantly just chase after i guess the vanity if you will of um what's seen as cool or like i guess the un unmodest life i mean to constantly keep up with what's in or fashion wise and like you're spending all this kind of money or you're you know following after the trends of like tips and lashes and the hair and whatever like we talk about it all the time in our generation like well, what i am that who's funding all of this when you calculate you have to do your acrylic set every two weeks and your hair and this and that and then you're buying new wardrobe you're shopping 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 galore that's a lot of money that you're calculating and thankfully I went down the thrift shopping route when I do shop and that's a blessing because you get a lot more for less but it's a lot and I'm thankful that I enjoy a natural and minimal look to myself like mascara if that you know whatever that's a lot of money and that's where my conviction and like what complete rejoice towards minimalism and modesty link together because minimalizing my items and just having my needs being more simple so it's it's so much more freeing like yeshua says that he his what is it his burden his his yoke is easy and his burden is light like a life fulfilled <laughs> And complete and just as we desire to live a life following after the will of the Most High, Yeshua calls us to a simple and simplified and peaceful and easy life. I can't tell you, it's been like, or I can't express enough rather, but it's been what December, January, February, I guess three or three and a half months since I've condensed my wardrobe and lived more modest and minimal ways in life and it's so much easier i'll be doing more videos um 
surrounding this topic but it's so much easier to pick out outfits in the morning i already know what 10 sweatshirts i have or what 10 sweaters i have what 10 what five knit sweaters i have what seven maybe long sleeves i have and it's so much easier picking outfits especially mentally i'm laying down i'm like you know what, what i'm gonna wear or i'm praying about it and it's like all right this this that and that it's it's, it's literally so much easier i'm not like rummaging through thousands of shirts and i'm trying to take it out and put it back neatly like everything it has its home everything has a place and it, i just have my needs if i want to wear a sweatsuit today i know where to get those and i can just grab that set and whatever it's not too many to choose from i'm not overwhelmed by it it's beautiful it has been so beautiful and exciting to intentionally be more modest right now it's winter too so it's easier to do so in the fall and winter it was just turtlenecks and sweaters and like a vest maybe on top so once spring and summer comes about i will be navigating that and we'll do a new video to update you guys on how i'm doing <sighs> it's been beautiful so yeah i i just wanted to read a, a page or so maybe just to um share with you guys like what i read which broke the camel's back or was the icing on the cake more so towards um my modesty and what i want to rear towards as being a woman after the most high like being a believer and really want to walk in my womanhood especially through my singleness years um this book was amazing to read now it's called woman thou art bound by deborah yah and I mentioned this a few months back in a couple of vlogs, one of them I did last year, towards the end of last year. Um, and I ended up finishing this book in about, I think it was like two weeks or a week and some change. It was an amazing read, um, so relatable. But one of the things I want to share with you guys, which I experienced and she talked about experiencing in her life, um, but it was kind of like what I experienced and it, it, it was like affirming me as I'm like, Anywho, let me read real quick to you guys so i love how so basically this passage that i'm going to read is from um a chapter she writes called the trap the tramp trap um you would have to kind of read it further to get the context of it but i guess she was just talking about how women since her generation now she's older i'm not sure if she's in her 50s 60s possibly i'm not sure but from a certain generation and on down to this day, um, it's been deemed, it, it, it's been normalized to show more skin, to dress in a certain way. You're young, you're free, show your goods type of thing. So she's talking about that it's a trap. And I don't know, that's that, that is just the way it goes. When you turn a certain age, you can just dress a certain way. But, um, the complete opposite effect happened. So she just says um, that I can remember on my 19th birthday, I even tried out some, some tramp wear. I found the skimpiest black dress I could find and wore it to a party that someone was giving that shared a birthday with me. I must say that was one of the worst feelings I ever had wearing clothes. I was, I was catching the bus from the west side of Detroit to the east side of Detroit and felt completely exposed, uncovered, downright ashamed. You see, I was what you call one of those church girls and tried my wings in the world only to be flying right back into my church coop. Since then, I have transitioned out of the church and into truth, but that's a whole nother story. Look up why it out erase from history to see what truth i'm referring to now i'll expound more on that in a separate video but i end up watching that documentary the why it out erase from history documentary it's super deep it's good it reveals so much truth towards our belief but that was exact or the exact or similar um feeling that i had more specifically on my 22nd birthday um that being last year <laughs> so i ended up going out but the thing is that for me it was the thing of like because i was wanting to walk towards my faith in a certain way 
and we're out of certain crowds, I found that because I'm turning 22, I was going out, um, a few times prior, I tried the clubbing thing, I tried, you know, certain things, but I'm like, why am I doing this? I'm trying to walk a certain way, so why am I trying to fit in to boxes that I can't fit into? So anyway, I was going out, um, and I wasn't really prepared to go out to a club, quite frank. I thought we were going to be doing something else. Benny Hill and how that's a long story in itself, but I end up borrowing an outfit, which was like a black dress, you know, like this, not, I guess a slip dress, but it was a little bit shorter, but it was like to my thighs, you know, whatever, like mid thigh. And I was wearing boots and whatever, and I was like, wow. And like those describing, that description, she gave a feeling uncovered, uncomfortable, like that's how I felt the entire time. And I was like, why am I doing this? I was like, I'm tapped out of this. Why am I even trying to fit into circles that I cannot fit into? I was praying about it. I felt immediately convicted. And since then, I was like, let me wake up and shake, about, shake up out of this. And really being intentional and firm in my modesty. And really walk that out. And be firm in it. Don't like be swayed or tossed from to to fro. Be planted firmly in my belief in what that looks like down to my conduct. So then on the next page, she says, as women, we do have standards of set apartness or holiness to uphold. We will be held accountable for allowing the traditions of men to separate us from the most high. Don't allow yourself to be bound by the lies and false teaching. Ultimately, the will of the most high and his will is for us to be modest, to be simple, to be set apart and uphold the standards that he sets apart sets apart and sets for us you know specifically for us how beautiful is that that he cares so much about us that he cares about how we conduct ourselves and appear in the face of others <laughs> you know um or even non-believers and in that they may be blessed to see us and ask us questions about our faith and from then we can share the hope that we have for the most high so um, we have a standard to uphold and that's just so beautiful to think about, to rest upon, to pray about and pray for the desire to further want to desire and want to walk in the will of the Most High. Like c continually keep praying this and just ask to be changed. Like I don't want to be anything like the former Kayla, um, especially the one before my intentionally walk me intentionally walking out my faith but who i am last week who i am yesterday who i am five years ago at 16 at 13 10 possibly i want to be completely changed from that person and really walk in my maturity and my set apartness and um i pray that like i pray i guess essentially for this but i now that i'm in it it's just i'm so more so in such joy and thankfulness to have this new perspective, to have um, such joy and just free, like freedom completely, um, whether it's physically, spiritually, financially, and really minimalizing my life and my conduct and my wardrobe and how I spend and the all-inclusive thinking and mindset i have towards this so it's such a blessing now thank you guys so we reached the end of today's video and i hope this video was an incredible blessing to you and i hope you enjoyed another discussion with me um i do enjoy these and i love chalk chat chalk <laughs> chatting or talking i love talking with you guys either one works but i was getting tongue-tied um, I hope all this makes sense and kind of encourages you guys or inspires somebody. And um, that's basically it for today's video. And I love you guys. And I hope to see you guys again for more videos. And I'm so blessed and thankful for all the new subscribers here. Please go ahead and like subscribe if you aren't. Um, or if you like this video, let me know. If you have any thoughts or things you want to expound on, or things that you've learned, or your perspective, go ahead and comment that. I'd love to talk with you guys and interact in the comments, 
also through DMs. And I love to do stories with you guys on my Instagram and be more interactive and just grow this community. And I'm so blessed by every last one of you. I'm praying for you. Um, also, if you have any prayer requests, go ahead, comment down below. Go ahead and DM me, you know, feel free. And um, yes, that is about it for today. Go ahead. I love the topic of modesty and go ahead and fear, not fearfully, well, fearfully and wonderfully, but unapologetically walk in your set of partners and with rejoice. And, you know, yeah, <laughs> it is just so beautiful and what a blessing. So, um, yeah, the outros and goodbyes were always hard, but I love you guys. I appreciate you guys dearly and have an amazing Wednesday or morning or evening or night, weekend, whatever time you're watching. And... I shall see y'all.